give him more water and then more water comes in. This goes, then more water comes in. Then this goes, then more water comes in. This is how in centrifugal pump. The following video is a part of the Dreamers package. In case you find the video helpful and want to watch more such videos, find the link of the Dreamers package in the description box below. Hello friends. So I have to talk about a characteristic curve. There are two curves that I am going to talk about. But first let's talk about H and Q curve over here. What is Q? That is the flow. So when I talk about flow, say I make a centrifugal pump over here. Sorry, mind, don't mind my drawing. This is taking a suction from here and discharging over here. There is a wall fitted over here. Okay. So if I keep this wall shut, I shut this wall. Pump is running. What will happen? It will take suction from it, discharge over here. But this discharge is not taking place. And in centrifugal pump, guys, please remember one thing, and that is that when the till the time this water moves forward, there will be no suction created at the impeller, right? So that the water can be drawn from the suction side. Centrifugal pump ke under. When the centrifugal pump is running, this impeller is running. So when it displaces water, it creates a suction in the eye. कि भाई eye के ऊपर पानी खत्म हो गया है. There is no water. It has already sent the water and it has given the centrifugal force. Give me more water and then more water comes in. This goes, then more water comes in. Then this goes, then more water comes in. This is how in centrifugal pump it works. Understood? But now you have kept this wall shut. There is no flow taking place. That means no flow. That means Q is zero. So what will happen to the pressure? Oh, if there is a pressure gauge fitted over here, this is the pressure head. When I talk about this, I am talking about this pressure. Understand this? Is a pressure head कहाँ जाता है? This pressure. It will be maximum. I am giving my full try, but the water is not going to do. I will give more. Right? So over here, guys, when this Q is zero. When this wall is shut, pressure is maximum, right? And now, right now, when I talk about this curve, we have to only talk about this theoretical curve right now. Only theoretical curve, okay? The pressure is going to be maximum. Say, ten bar, okay? When flow is zero. And when you open this wall fully, now there is no wall. Okay, you have opened this wall completely. What will happen? Suddenly the pressure will reduce a bit, little bit reduce, but your flow will be maximum. So over here, this you have got out here Q maximum. So the maximum flow rate of this pump, which I have put over here, is 200 meter cube per hour. So you see this curve slowly, slowly, your pressure starts reducing, and say it comes at seven bars. Right? I am talking about this curve now, theoretical curve. But again, this theoretical curve where I have not assumed any kind of other issues. But first issue that comes is because of the impeller blade thickness and other mechanical conditions, there are some shock losses and eddy losses due to which this curve now becomes like this. Okay, but again, it does not stop there. This centrifugal pump fitted over here, right? Suppose you have got a long pipe. Suppose over here the flow rate has to be maintained, but this pipe is very long. So definitely there is going to be a lot of friction that has that will be encountered with the flow. So this pipe is two kilometer long. Okay. Now even the pump's capacity is two hundred meter cube an hour. But it is two kilometer long. Pump will not be able to give even the wall is full open two hundred meters. Little less. 
Why? Because of this frictional loss is coming in between. Now, if there is water over here in centrifugal pump, then it can pump easily. But suppose you have got oil, thick viscosity will again cause a lot of friction over here. So, frictional loss is because of viscosity, because of flow, because of length of pipe. Or if any other restrictions over here inside that will cause these losses and so your actual curve is like this so ideally it is designed for 10 bar but it starts at 6 bar and say flow rate is again 0 6 bar and when it goes to maximum q max goes up to 4 bar Understood guys? Now this is very important and this is just an example that I am giving you. Okay? The centrifugal pumps work like this. This is the characteristic curve that you have to remember, understand and you have to understand what is Q minimum and what is Q maximum. Once you have understood that, this problem is sorted out. Okay? You have understood this. Now, we will talk about another curve and that curve is over here in front of you. Now in this curve, I have got power over here. I have got flow over here. Now when I talk about power, basically out here I am talking about the amount of current drawn by the motor. See, it's very simple guys. Suppose there is just this motor. Like this fitted. Okay? Nothing else. And if you rotate this motor with the current, say now in this motor you have to maintain 1440 revolutions per minute RPM. Now, suppose you are giving 5 amps current and this is rotating. Now suddenly you attach 10 kg weight over here. Now is this current going to be the same drawn by the motor to maintain this RPM or this current is going to increase? It is going to decrease because of load lagya hai. Pehle mein aram se move kar raha tha. Now you have given me 20 kg backpack with me. Now I am taking more power. More food energy. So over here it is taking more current. Similarly, out here, when you connect, connect an impeller. So bhaiya, CDC si baat hai. Now impeller kitana load le raha? How much impeller, how much load is on the impeller? Which means which is directly being transferred to the motor over here. You getting a point? See, this motor is directly to the impeller. Now, impeller, if it works well, it doesn't have much load. See, this is running dry. There is no water inside. Right? So, what will happen? The motor will work well, but not much current. Now, over here, in centrifugal pump, please remember, Q is the most important part. You will see that whatever characteristic curves I make, the x-axis is always Q. Flow. That means centrifugal pump is highly dependent on how flow is. Clear? So when I talk about flow over here, if flow is less, less current is drawn. If you increase the flow, more current is drawn. Okay guys? So what does that mean? If I have got a centrifugal pump fitted over here, And the discharge wall is shut. So what is happening? Discharge wall is shut. So as I told earlier, pressure is going to increase. But since there is no flow, no flow, the motor current that is drawing is minimum. Minimum current. So let's start. It's 10 amps. Why? Motor जब चालू होगी कुछ तो करंट लेगी सो इट्स 10 एम्स एंड देन एज यू स्लोली ओपन द वॉल एंड क्यू इंक्रीजेस योर द करंट ड्रॉन बाय द मोटर इंक्रीजेस क्लियर गाइस दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू टू रिमेंबर व्हेन यू आर ऑन शिफ्ट वी आर सिटिंग इन इंजन कंट्रोल रूम एंड द पंप इज वर्किंग डाउन बिलो ओके जस्ट बाय Looking at the 
ammeter that is ampere meter whatever you say that it is 0 it is 120 so say normally whenever the pump used to run it was used it used to run at 60 amps okay suddenly you see in the pump room itself in the ecr setting itself only today it is drawing just 20 amps current that means the flow has reduced or no flow what can be the reason? Maybe the filter has got choked. The water is not flowing. But if the filter is choked, the water is not going to come. If water is not going to come, water is not going to flow. And if water is not flowing, basically what happens? The current drawn by the motor reduces from 60 amps. It has become 20 amps. Because, say, it was taking 60 amps over here when Q was maximum but suddenly you saw ok the filter has showed there is no flow taking place when pani aega tabhi to pani jayega aage filter choke ho gaya pani aega nahi raha to jayega kaise so definitely impeller ke upar alarm se chal raha hai jayega load nahi hai to aapka impeller is kam ho gaya so by sitting only if you know this thing you know how it works so centrifugal pump flow matters clear guys efficiency curve efficiency we know how much input we have given and how much output we have got so efficiency is denoted by nita over and again q so efficiency is something like this so it is increasing with the flow but it is not maximum at q max somewhere between q max and q minimum is 70 percent of q max the efficiency is maximum what does that mean this is q minimum zero this is q maximum maximum efficiency is approximately at 70 percent of q max what does this mean? कि जितना आप input दे रहे हो, with the corresponding to the load, the the amperage, correspondingly the output that I am getting is maximum somewhere over here. You have to remember that as well. Okay, guys. Now another question that should come to your mind is the last one. Why no leaf valve in centrifugal pump? In screw pump, in gear pump, we have got uh, relief wall fitted in a positive displacement pump apart from the diaphragm pump which cannot develop a higher pressure normally I would say if somebody talks about positive displacement pumps you would just say that they have a relief wall fitted because they have to positively displace but in centrifugal pump what's happened? what happens is if you keep the discharge wall shut as I explained earlier Still, centrifugal pump is not going to develop pressure higher than its capacity, which was say 10 bars. So, when this ball is fully shut, it is developing 10 bars pressure. Now, the pipes which are made are generally designed to hold a much higher pressure, even the casing. So, we know we are safe over here. This pipe is not going to burst, this casing is not going to burst. So, we do not require a relief valve. But when it comes to about gear pump or screw pump, we know yeah, this is the design. Hai. But if you keep this watch on it, is keep driving pressure. It will go 10, 11, 12, 15, 60, 100. Bam. Clear guys? So this is what we have to remember. Clear? Thank you very much. Jai Matadi. I think so. I have tried to explain all the important functions that you need in a centrifugal pump. More than sufficient. If you found the video helpful, do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel. To watch more such videos, you can find the link of the Dreamers package in the description box below. Thank you.